welcome to my first ever monthly reset video. Technically, take two of the first video. I tried to record this video on Monday the 1st of July and I recorded most of it outside and it turned out terrible when I sat down to edit it today. Essentially, I have been watching a whole bunch of monthly reset videos on YouTube. I'm like addicted to them. In particular, I have been watching Ella, aka Smiley Citrus here on YouTube. She's an Aussie content creator and she mostly focuses on monthly resets in terms of budgeting, whereas I want to focus on monthly resets in terms of my content. So I have already set out my calendar for the month. I use Notion by the way, that's what I like to use for my planning to just help me sit down, plan out what I want to do with my content, talk about things that are coming up, things I'm looking forward to. I'm also going to be including like my TBR list. This is how I line everything up. The first thing that I always put in is my stream. So I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time here on YouTube and on TikTok. I dual stream at the same time. And that is my general schedule. Sometimes it obviously has to change if things come up, but that's the schedule I'm trying to stick to. And I'm trying to be more consistent. I think for like the last month or so, I have consistently been pretty consistent with those nights. So I'm trying to keep that up and I'm trying to do a better job at planning what games I'm going to feature in those streams or what games I'm going to play. Like tonight I'm doing Good Pizza, Great Pizza. One, I think that was super popular. It might still be, but it was recently um, over on TikTok, but it's been requested by people is the main thing. So that's what I'm playing tonight. That might also run over into next week. I've got other games on the calendar for the next few nights or the next couple of weeks, but things are open to change. I only schedule them up on my YouTube channel because you can schedule live streams ahead of time the week the week of basically the Sunday or the Monday I go on and schedule the streams. So those, that's what's locked in stone. The other thing that I have on here that's locked in stone is the D&D campaign that I'm currently playing in. I'm playing Rhyme of the Frost Maiden with a group of friends. That's a Tuesday night. We start around 7, my usual stream time, and run into the evening. So that happens pretty much every Tuesday unless somebody can't make it and we have to change things. We're slowly getting very close to the end, so there won't be too many sessions of that left. It depends how long it takes to finish, but it's going to stay pretty consistent for a little while longer, a few more weeks, so I have that on Tuesdays. Uh, the other things that are happening that I have added to the calendar are... Riven gameplay. A Riven got remastered recently, which is a game that I played when I was younger. Uh, I think it came out in 1997, I think, which I hadn't even hit school yet in 1997, but a little while after that, I used to play it all the time. We have to, used to have the seven or eight disc set. I started playing Riven so many times and never one single time have I finished it. I don't know how the game ends because I was too young to get through the whole game. I don't even know like what percentage of the game I got through. I feel like I got decently far for how old I was, but I'm doing a playthrough YouTube series of Riven and I have recorded the first session and started editing that, so that's down. Guys, m most of my day today was renewing my license. My Renewing my license took so long today because I got flagged in the system for something. At first I thought it was gonna be some sort of fine or speeding ticket, which I have never got either, ever. And so I was like, is there like some ticket on my file that I don't know about? Anyway, it had to go through like three people at the service center to like fix the error thing that came up. Um, they had to call someone and eventually got fixed, but I was just there so long. It took way too long today to do that. So that's take up a lot of my day. My content calendar also helps with uh, deliverables that I need to do when uh, people reach out for me to cover a game or with products. I do have content that I need to make this week for a brand and I'm waiting for a package to arrive for that so I can't put in the calendar when I'm going to do that because I'm still waiting for something to come through. Oh, this little Diablo here, this is a little Diablo. I'm doing a duo's Diablo playthrough and we are both very busy and need to schedule our time to figure out when we're going to get through that. So I put that on the calendar. I think tomorrow evening is when that's going to fit in. Also, one of the bigger reasons that I wanted to schedule this out is because I have an Etsy store and I don't really talk about my Etsy store because I never really started it on purpose. It was kind of like an accidental thing that happened. A while back, I can probably find the video. Just keep scrolling. Oh, here we go. Two years ago now, which is 
crazy i didn't think it was two years ago but it was i created a streaming overlay for valorant which is an fps game if you're not familiar for the agent sage i was basically wanted something that i could overlay my stream with for valorant to make it like a little bit different stand out back when i was streaming on twitch and so i decided to make agent hud overlays to cover the bottom hud you know something a little bit different while i designed it i recorded me designing it um, I don't know, for whatever reason, I put it up on YouTube and I also put it on TikTok. On TikTok, it kind of became one of my most viewed TikToks. Once I made it, people on my stream saw it and wanted it, and then people saw it on YouTube and wanted it. That's when it went up on Etsy. So I threw that up on Etsy. Then I was like, I should make some other stuff for the Etsy because I can't have one thing on there. Two years later, I have over 600 and something sales on Etsy, and I haven't really done anything with it. I haven't really kept up. I've added bits and pieces here and there, but I haven't done basically anything with it. It hasn't really made a ton of money because all my stuff on there is super cheap, but it's made a bunch of sales. It has the potential to do a lot better and do a lot more with it. And this month actually was the first month that it didn't make money. So, and when I mean make money, I'm not including me creating this stuff, but there are fees for listing your items on Etsy. And for the first time I was in the negative this month because I just haven't been doing it. It's whatever sales are just like organic people finding my products on there. I'm in the negative 33 cents, <laughs> so it's not, it's not anywhere like disastrous but it's really made me think like I need to take this opportunity and think about what I want to put up there and not necessarily like a strategy but just give it more effort and one of the reasons I wasn't giving it effort is because I didn't feel like I had the time. One of the big reasons that I wanted to do this um, which I'm going to sit down tomorrow and crack into some Etsy research and just figure out what I want to put up there. I enjoy making stuff for Etsy too, like I enjoy the creative process of making things, so I just want to get back into the swing of like doing something with my Etsy and see what I can do with it because it has, it definitely has potential, like it has a base there, um, I have a good rating on Etsy so why not try and make use of that. The other thing I want to focus on is health and fitness and I include it in my content planner because I don't want it to become secondary to the other stuff that I'm working on, I want to like focus on it. So running, I am running Tuesdays and Thursdays at least, two days a week, and I'm doing the same route on those days because I want to, I'm like a very numbers and stats person, like I love stats, so I want to try and improve my split time on that same route so I can compare beginning of the month, end of the month. So I've done my Tuesday run yesterday, got another run tomorrow. The goal is to just improve and have a focus on it. So that's why it's like part of my calendar on here you'll see Tuesdays and Thursdays. Also you probably notice all the emojis I have on my planner and I just like visually uh, without the ticks you can just see the category something belongs to and then with the ticks you can see that it's checked off or across when something doesn't go right like trying to edit the first take of this video didn't go right. What else? Oh events. I also have events that I add to this calendar so Winterfest is coming up this weekend which is a medieval festival that is in Sydney, South Wales. I wanted to go last year but something came up or I we couldn't go or something. This year I made sure to make tickets and make it a priority on the calendar. So that should be fun. I have no idea what to expect. Also you might notice little race flags for qualifying and race. The Formula One makes it onto the calendar because I've been super into the Formula One this year since the beginning of the season and it is so much fun following the Formula One. So of course that makes it onto the calendar. Has to. Oh, other event, I forgot to mention I have a brand event in a couple of weeks that I was invited to. I have RSVP to that's in the city. I don't know what to expect for that because there wasn't a whole lot of details on the invitation. I'm kind of going in blind, but I'm going to check it out. I don't know how much I can mention or talk about that as of right now, but you'll see it on my social media when I can talk about what's going on or <laughs> what I saw. I think that covers most things. Oh, I have one weekend where I'm doing a little bit of work, filming, helping out a friend basically so they get a break from their work, kind of just uh, contracting in for the weekend, you could probably say. So that's a couple of afternoons slash evenings on the Saturday, Sunday later in the month and that's a good time anyway because I get to see one of my other friends 
and make a little bit of extra cash so <laughs> that is on the calendar for this month but you can see my week kind of starts to feel out. I don't try and put like everything on the calendar. Obviously events or things that I have coming up that like are unavoidable go straight on the calendar. My stream schedule goes straight on the calendar. But I'm probably planning out only one to a few days ahead of time. And as I think of things and I remember things, like I have a place to just come and put it on and figure it out. Once I sit down tomorrow with the Etsy research and figure out what I want to do with all that, then I will have things to add to the calendar where I'm like okay sit block out some time to like work on this specific thing also I didn't talk about my TBR list or my to be read list which I've added to the calendar because it's another thing I want to focus on is trying to get through my TBR because it is way too long I've started only recently to really try and use Goodreads to organize my reading list otherwise I've been using Notion. I've started on the Haunting Adeline series on the first book or the prequel book Satan's Affair. I put this on my TBR because it was one of those big book talk books that blew up and so of course goes on the TBR because I'm gonna try it out. It is a dark romance book and I did not read the content warnings. I probably should have but this one I also probably should have read reviews. There's something about this one that is just like dark stuff is thrown in for the sake of dark stuff being thrown in. Satan's Affair is only short, it's only like 180 pages. I'm gonna try and get through to the end. I'm probably about 50% of the way through for the next one. I might start it. It might be a DNF for me. But that reminds me of another thing that I was thinking about which I need to add. Maybe I take a look on Friday. I want to try maybe I was thinking about starting up a book club as part of my YouTube membership as one of the benefits to the YouTube membership tier because I have that set up because I stream on YouTube It's like a very common thing to have like subs or memberships and I think I'm thinking of setting up I need to I think you can but I need to check if I can set up like a discord channel that links to if you're in the membership you get added to the discord channel to create like a book club I just want to integrate more book content into my content I've already started integrating F1 content into my content, but mostly only on TikTok, not on YouTube yet. But I'm kind of just diversifying and sharing more of my, my general interests outside of gaming because so far I've only just been focused on gaming, which I love gaming, obviously. So basically that is my July reset. It was more of a July setup really than a July reset because I haven't done one of these monthly plan with me before. But when I come back next month, we'll be able to review the things that I was able to achieve this month that I had gone over and set up and then planned for the next month. Let me know what you guys have going on in the month of July or if you have game recommendations or book recommendations I am always open you can let me know but I think that's pretty much everything and hopefully I will see you in August for our next monthly reset.